This morning, as I began thinking about the things I have not achieved or accomplished yet and the challenges I have been facing, I felt discouraged. So I prayed about it and the Lord reminded me. So I wrote in my journal, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In this fast-paced and challenging world, we will encounter numerous obstacles, trials, tribulation, overwhelming odds of circumstances that seem insurmountable, dreams that appear unattainable, battles that leave us feeling defeated in times of weakness. Under these circumstances, it's easy to become disheartened, discouraged, dismayed, causing us to lose sight of the power that resides within us. So Philippians 4.13 reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles, that our Lord Jesus Christ stands beside us, always ready to provide encouragement, strength, guidance, and comfort in every situation and in every step of our way. We are not meant to face challenges in our own limited strength, but rather to rely on the unlimited power and grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is always with us. When Paul says, I can do all all things, he isn't implying that we will magically achieve everything we desire without effort or sacrifice, but he is speaking of a transformation that occurs within us when we seek his divine help and inspiration. Through Christ, we receive the courage to persevere, the wisdom to make sound decisions, and the endurance to overcome any hindrance that may come our way. When we allow Christ to work in and through us, our possibilities are probabilities, our dreams become attainable, our fears diminish. Our weaknesses are turned into strengths because of he who dwells in us has no limits. He is not confined by our circumstances, inadequacies, or limitations. When we lean on Jesus, we tap into infinite power and grace to help us overcome the challenges we face in this life. Amen. So let us always recall to ourselves, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And let us draw near to him, surrendering our weaknesses, doubts, and fears, so that his strength may be perfected in our weakness. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. <laughs>